Hey everyone, so Sony claims that the dual SIM card variant of the Xperia Z3 Plus does not support Quick Charge 2.0. Um, so I'm going to test that and see if that's accurate or not. See here I've got the Xperia Z3 Plus dual SIM card. And then I've got an Aki Quick Charge 2.0 uh, Qualcomm certified charger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this plugged in for 30 minutes here. Alright, so I'm going to start the timer on here. And we're starting off at 9%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this plugged in for 30 minutes. And in 30 minutes, I'm going to come back um, and use a standard USB charging cable and adapter. Run that for 30 minutes and I'll compare the two. All right, so we're approaching 30 minutes here with the Quick Charge 2.0. All right, so now to check in, remember it started at 9% and 29%, so 20% total. All right, so now I'm gonna try it with the standard USB charging cable. All right, so I got the standard USB charging cable here, uh, the one that's shipped with the phone. And I'm going to start the timer. So this should be at about 29%. We'll just check to make sure. All right, 29%. So I'm going to check in in 30 minutes. All right, everyone. So we're at 30 minutes here and 50%. So remember, we started off at 29%. So uh, 21% for the standard USB charging cable that came with the uh, Xperia Z3 Plus and then it was 20% for the Quick Charge 2.0 so um, no difference what Sony claimed is true um, I'm not exactly sure why this is the case with the dual SIM card variant but it is the only feature that the dual SIM card variant doesn't have that the single SIM card version does alright guys thanks for watching um, yeah so pretty much just confirming what we all expected but hopefully this was able to help some of you guys out